Hello everyone, Runner85 here, bringing you the last set of battles from Global Challenge 2. Today I'm going to really be focusing on this Fluttermane, which is a speed booster Fluttermane with Icy Wind. What's really nice about this Fluttermane is you can really control the speed of the other team by getting off a quick Icy Wind, which will allow some of your Pokemon to move before they can, thus getting crucial knockouts, and you'll see that in today's battles. The rest of this team is a pretty standard balanced team from early February. Uh, the Landorus Incarnate uh, is an Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, and Sand Seer Storm rather than a substitute. The Ogre Pond is a bulky Ogre Pond, not super fast, but very bulky, so it can take hits a lot better than uh, the fast Ogre Ponds. With Ivy Cudgel, Horn Leech, and Follow Me. The Urshifu, also a bulky Urshifu, not of not, uh, max speed. Has Wicked Blow, Sucker Punch, and Close Combat, and a Poison Terra to resist those fairy moves and fighting moves. The Incineroar here is a Grass Terra with uh, Knock Off, Parting Shot, Fake Out, and Flare Blitz. The Incineroar is kind of our switching over to Ghost Terras now. So this one is you know from early February, so Grass Terra was the one I picked. Basically to uh, survive Earth Powers from Landorus Incarnates. And this is a standard Assault Vest Raging Bolt with Electroweb, Snarl, Thunderclap, and Dragon Pulse. The extra rub is here to also help with speed control and snarls for those pesky special attackers and trick room teams. So anyway, hope you enjoy these battles. And if you do, please leave a like or a comment. And of course, I would love a subscribe. Happy battling. Alrighty, so we have Frigoraph, we have Whimsicott, Flutter, that's likely a dark Urshifu. Could be a water Urshifu for a fire water grass core. We also have a Walking Wake and the Hearthling Mower Pond. Alrighty, so I definitely want Flutter here for any taunting. I do have a slight issue with the Walking Wake, right? That can have, they'd likely have Sunny Day on their Whimsicott. So I think I bring Incineroar here. I threaten with fake out. I threaten with taunt on the flutter main. I'm gonna bring my ogre pawn because I'm pretty sure that is a. I'm pretty sure that is a uh, rapid strike Urshifu. And the raging bolt. The raging bolt could be good here for some priority, plus some speed control. Or do I want the Urshifu? Uh, I think I'm gonna bring the. I'm gonna try with the Raging Bolt. We'll see how this works out. I haven't played a Sun Team like this in a while. That might not be a Rapid Strike Urshifu, given it's a Sun Team. It might be a Dark Urshifu. So bringing my Ogre Pond might have been a mistake. But we'll see what happens. I can still threaten with the Horn Leeches into that Walking Wake. Ooh, nice uh, trainer card. All right, Whimsicott, Oberon. So I'm guessing they're either going to Tailwind or they're going to Sunny Day. I'm going to taunt them regardless. I won't get off. I won't get off. Um whatever their uh, prankster move first is. So if they Tailwind first, then they can't get Sunny Day up. If they Sunny Day up, then they can't get Tailwind up, so. And then I'm gonna fake out the Ogre Pond. The Ogre Pond is threatening damage right away into my Flutter main. An Ivy Cudgel into me is definitely gonna knock me out. They withdrew Ogre Pond. Interesting. Into Ferrigarath. Okay. I don't get that, but okay. They set up Tailwind. Up 
but what's weird is they don't have tons of offensive pressure here. So I'm going to Icy Wind in case there's a Sash on that Whimsicott. And I'm going to knock off onto the Perigarath. The Moonblast, it's not going to do much. It doesn't have a, uh, Whimsicott doesn't have a huge special attack. That does a lot of damage to the Whimsicott. And the Dazzling Gleam, that's not going to do a whole lot. And then we knock off. And then we get a knockout. It was a Rocky Helmet, okay. So I'll get to eat my berry here. They do have Tailwind up. So they have Ogre Pond in the back. And they have... And they have Foo Walking Wake. We're gonna bring out Ogre Pond. <laughs> Makes sense. All right, I, I gotta watch the Taunt on this Whimsicott. I have two more turns of Taunt. Mainly because I don't wanna knock it out and give them the ability to set up Tailwind. I think they have two more turns of Tailwind here. Yep. So I'm going to protect, because I think they're going to attack my Fluttermane here. And I'm going to Parting Shot out on the Ogre Pond. Yep. I'm going to Terra. I would expect them to attack the Fluttermane here. We'll see what they do. Yep, they heavy cudgeled into the Flutter main slot. And likely a moon blast into my Yep. Not gonna do a whole bunch. Alright, so now I got them back down to uh, neutral. They got the plus one from the embody aspect, so now they're back to neutral. Alright, I think I bring out the Ogre Pond because I need to knock out this Whimsicott. Alrighty, and then I actually swap in the Incineroar here. That'll bring them to minus one. Then I am actually gonna... do I want a Terra? I really want to get rid of this Whimsicott before I can set up another Tailwind. So I think I am going to just go ahead and Terra and, or do I sacrifice the Flutter? No, I think I'm going to do this. Let's see how this works out. Oh, they withdraw Ogre Pond. Interesting. Okay. Oh, they have Flutter. Interesting. Is it Booster Flutter? Special Attack. The good thing here is I should be able to fake out the uh, Whimsicott on the next turn. Unless it's Covert Cloak, we, we don't really know. But hopefully this Ivy Cudgel will knock it out. So they did not bring Walking Wake and they have Flutter instead, so that's interesting. The Moonblast. Not enough to knock me out. And enough to knock out the Whimsicott. So they don't get Tailwind back up, which is really good for me. Their Tailwind peters out, and I get a free fake out turn into their Ogre Pond. They may just double protect here. The spiky shield damage shouldn't knock out my Incineroar. I 
Yeah, they spike his shield. And they protect the Flutter? No, they did, didn't, because Flutter is faster. Oh, they did protect. Oh, wow, interesting. Their Ogre Pond is faster than their Flutter. So it must be a max speed timid Ogre Pond. All right, so my Incinera gets knocked out. All right, so I bring up my Flutter here. I'm going to Icy Wind to try to get some speed control here. I'm going to go after the Ogre Pond. It's going to move first. Oh wow, I actually am still faster. Interesting. This should allow my Ogre Pond hopefully to move first. Yep, sweet. Without the booster, I did not expect to actually move before their Ogre Pond. So that, that was actually a surprise to me, but I'll take it. And are they going to just Shadow Ball into my Flutter? Which is fine with me if they do. Yeah. That will likely knock me out. Yeah, because they're a special attack booster. And I'm a speed booster Flutter, so not tons of defensive investment or offensive. But I still have a Raging Bolt. I threaten with priority here. Plus my Ogre Pond is faster. So I can just Thunderclap. And Ivy Cudgel. And that should be game. Oh, they're gonna protect? Okay, well, we, we can wait it out. Right, Thunderclap and Ivy Cudgel again. Does almost half. And because of that Icy Wind earlier, I'm now faster than their Flutter. And we get the knockout. Good game. That's a game of speed control there. And waiting out that Tailwind. And not knocking out that Whimsicott too soon to allow a Pokemon to come in and take advantage of that Tailwind. So, good game. All right, you got Roberto with an Incineroar, a Cresselia, Ogre Pond, Wellspring Mask, Fluttermane, Torn, and an Archaludon, so Archaladon. So that's likely a rain team. And with the Incineroar and Cresselia, that's definitely a Trick Room team as well. So they got Trick Room and Speed. And speed. So looking at this team, Yeah, so dealing with the Cresselia is going to be a problem. I can taunt it, although it's likely Mental Herb, but I think I bring that. And fake out support right away. I think I bring the Raging Bolt here. That threatens the... I definitely need, need special attack here to get rid of things like the Raging Bolt and even the Incineroar. Or not, sorry, not the Ranger Mode, the Archaludon. I need special because of the stamina boosts. So I think I bring Landris in the back. And then I can crit through stuff with the Urshifu. I think I'm going to go with those four. We shall see. I haven't played a team like this in a while. A bit out of practice. I'm going to try taunting the Cresselia. And see if it has Mental Herb. So they just bring Archaludon and Tornadus. Interesting. So they're just going to... They're just going to either set the rain right away. Alrighty. So I think I just try to get... Do I... Yeah, I, I try to get damage into Archaludon right away and I fake out right away. Likely Assault Vest. Oh, 
Interesting. They're just going for damage. They did not set Tailwind or Rain Dance, which is not what I expected. Are they just going to Bleak Wind? Raw Bleak Wind? Interesting. Okay. And I get a speed drop on my Incineroar, which is fine. Just hit another Moonblast. And I'm going to knock off here. They might just heavy slam my Flutter, but I'm okay with letting it go down here. All right, they're just going to hit, keep hitting Bleak Winds, which is interesting. Another speed trap. <laughs> they just body press my Incineroar. Okay, and that's fine with me. So I'm just going to Moonblast the Archaludon again. I'm going to Terra because of the Body Press. And I'm going to Wicked Blow the Tornadus. They set Tailwind. My Flutter should still be faster. They Bleak Wind. The Poison Terra will protect me. They Rain Dance. That's fine with me. I'll take that because... Yeah, Archaludon is not going to move before my Pokemon, so yeah, they set Tailwind, but my Flutter is still going to be faster. And this will knock out. Yep, sweet. So they get Tailwind up, which is good for them. But I have Protects on my side, unless they have a, bring out an Urshifu. Do they have Rocky Helmet? No, not Rocky Helmet. Well, that's good. I still have my Sash and Tack. Aha! Uh -huh. They have a Cresselia. So they're going to Lunar Blessing. I'm just going to taunt the Cresselia. I'm going to Wicked Blow the Cresselia as well. They might have Mental Orb, but it also might be Rocky Helmet Cresselia, which would be great because they then can't. Although if it has Psychic, this is not going to be great for my Pokemon, but... Shall see. Is it a mental herb? It is mental herb, okay. So it is not a so they bleak wind, who do they miss? Flutter, okay. Speed drop, that sucks Cresselium now we'll get to move first. I do have my I don't have my sash anymore. Ooh, I survived though, thankfully. Nice. All right, so I am going to taunt the Cresselia again. And I'm going to Sucker Punch into the Tornado slot. And if my Urshifu goes, goes down here, that's okay. The important thing is I don't want this Cresselia getting more health back. Yep, beautiful. And now I can Sucker Punch the Cresselia. Right. I can Sucker Punch the Cresselia because they have to attack me. All right, it's a special attack booster. So I'm going to protect my Flutter here. Uh, let's just double check. I'm pretty sure there's one turn of Tailwind. Ooh, up here. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. So let me double check I did that right. So protect Flutter. And I'm going to sucker the Cresselia here. So this will take out Cresselia. They'll likely take out my Urshifu, but then I will have the speed advantage. Going into uh, the next turn, because my Flutter will be faster than uh, their Flutter. No Terra Fairy. They're gonna lock into Dazzling Gleam, I'm guessing. Yep. 
And I may be regretting who I brought in the back. Did I bring Ogre Pond? I think I brought Ogre Pond. Yes, I'm pretty sure I brought Ogre Pond. I hope it's Ogre Pond and not Raging Bolt, because Raging Bolt will not fare well here. <laughs> Right there, Tailwind Peter's out. Oh, it's Landorus. Nice. Alright, so Icy Wind to drop their speed. And then I Sludge Bomb to take them out, hopefully. Beautiful. Thankfully, that Icy Wind at 95% accurate hit. Otherwise, I would have been taken out by a Dazzling Gleam on both, likely. Might have survived on the Landorus, but likely not. But good game, Roberto. Alright, we've got Grant with an Annihilate and a Wellspring Ogre Pond, a Hisuian Sneasler, a Entei. Raging Bolt, and a Latios? Latios? I don't know which one that is. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see here. So we got Dragon fighting. Definitely Flutter is good here. I can't bring Incineroar uh, due to the... Um, due to the um, Annihilate. So the Defiant on the Annihilate. But I think Lando's really good here. into a lot of their team. Oh, let's see here. I think a late game Raging Bolt would be good too. Although, they're mostly a physical team. I think I bring Ogre Pond and Urshifu. Or do I bring... Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> All righty. Alright, so it's a Sneasler Flutter lead. Interesting. Ah, it's an Air Balloon Sneasler, too. Alright, so a Moonblast into Annihilate is pretty obvious. Sneasler also has the ability to use Dire Claw, so I'm gonna actually protect on Flutter turn one. I think I'm going to Earth Power the Annihilate to start. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see what the Annihilate goes. Is this Annihilate Terra? Yeah. Terra Fire. Terra Poison. Well, this Earth Power is not going to feel good. Let's see what they go for. Oh, they fake out. Okay. I forgot Sneasler got fake out. They just Rage Fist. Interesting. Okay. Well, now I should be able to just Moon Blast into the Sneasler and Earth Power into the Annihilate. They withdraw Annihilate, they're going to bring in the Latios. Or Latias, ah, it's Latias. There we go. Because that has Levitate. The good thing is this is going to pop the Air Balloon, so it'll allow me to hit it with a... Uh, allow me to hit it with a... Um, allow me to hit it with uh, Earth Power next turn. 
So now I am actually going to taunt the Latias. And I'm going to Earth Power the Sneasler. Ooh, they're faster. Well, I'll get the Sneasler gone here. No, oh, they have Ice Beam. No, I won't. Well, how are they faster than me? Well, I guess I don't know my speed tiers. Yeah, this game is basically over now because they are faster. <laughs> They're faster than my Flutter, which is Booster. Huh, I should have Terra there. I'm going to Terra here. And I'm going to Wicked Blow into the Latias. And then I'm going to Ivy Cudgel into the Sneasler. They might close combat into me, so that's not going to be effective anymore. But they also have a Psychic move, so they might do that into me. Although, oh, they Dire Claw into my Ogre Pond, which is almost a one-hit knockout. And now they tell... They were already faster than me, but that's fine. I guess they're setting it up for the back. This is going to get a knockout here. And I will get a knockout into the Latios, Latios here. Ah, uh, it's Rocky Helmet, so I just lost my Sash. So it's Annihilate in the back, Terra Poison. And a Raging Bolt, so oh, great. And it is a Booster Energy Raging Bolt, which is even worse. It's a special attack. That's fine. I'm just going to detect here. And they might bulk up, which would be the smart move on their end. I would expect a, either a Calm Mind, and they use Rage Fist, so that'll get some chip. Oh, they Rage Fist over there, okay. They use Electroweb. You're already faster than me. <laughs> I guess they're going for spread damage. I think they have two turns of Trick Room, or two turns of Tailwind. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to Wicked Blow into here, and I'm going to follow me here. In case they try to do a Thunderclap, but nope, we're just going to Rage Fist. And hopefully an Electroweb miss. Come on, Electroweb miss. No, bummer. Yeah, that's just not enough. All right, well, I'm still going to detect. Stall out their tailwind. This, th there's no way I can win here. I only have single attacks. Yeah, and they have thunderclap. And with the special attack boost, a thunderclap will just knock me out. I can sucker punch, however, which I'll do because that. Oh no, I'm actually probably slow. Uh, no, I am faster than the Raging Bolt if they use Thunderclap. No, they didn't use Thunderclap. But the Rage Fish is going to... Oh, the Rage Fish doesn't take me out, but they smartly use a Dragon Pulse and not Thunderclap. Because I was still slightly faster than them. Not a good game. I definitely misplayed that. I did not know my speed tiers with Sneasler and Latias. Definitely faster than me. And I probably should have Tarred forgot that Latias got Ice Beam. Good game. 
Alrighty, so we have a Psy Spam team with a fast uh, Lilligant Torkoal aspect. So I definitely lead Raging Bolt uh, to do a bunch of spamming of Snarl. That'll really lower the uh, special attack of their side if they lead the uh, Hatterene uh, and Didi. Now if they lead uh, if they lead uh, Hisuian Lilligan and Torkoal, I have to deal with a a Sleep Powder. Yeah, I guess I will bring Ogre Pond, because then I can follow me the Sleep Powder. And I'll bring Urshifu in the back. Ah, oh, and I think Landorus in the back. Let's try that. Don't know who they're going to lead with. I would be happier with a Hatterene and Didi lead. Yes, okay. This actually makes me happier. <laughs> so I just snarl. Spiky Shield. Sweet. Let me get Trick Room up. Which is fine. It's a nice snarl again. And I bring out Dark Urshifu, hoping they use Expanding Force. They use Expanding Force and follow me, expecting me. Oh no, they're not. Interesting. What are they going with? Urshifu, okay. Is this the water Urshifu? No, the dark Urshifu. Okay. And they're gonna tear a fire. Or tear a fairy. Tear a psychic, okay. Use Expanding Forest, it doesn't affect my Urshifu. I am Assault Vested. I take that pretty well. Nice Snarl here. Alrighty. I think I Snarl again, for sure. I don't want to sack anyone here. <sighs> yeah, because they're going to move before me. And their Urshifu is likely slower than mine. I'm just going to close combat into their Urshifu and go for it. See what happens. Yeah, they did Dazzling Gleam. Yeah. That is a bummer. I was thinking about uh, Terra Poison there, but then that's horrible for... Well, the good thing here is I take out their Urshifu, so... Yeah, 
and I get to preserve my Urshifu. There should be one turn of Trick Room. Oh, there's two turns of Trick Room. <laughs> no! Oh, man. All right, well, I spiky shield here. And I detect, for sure. So the plan here, I don't know if I can live this, but I'm going to Ivy Cudgel into the Hatterene, because that's a Trick Room setter. And I'm going to try to Wicked Blow into the Toko, but they're going to Eruption again. So, oh wow, they're going to withdraw the Hatterene, which means I will actually survive. I will survive this um, eruption with the plus one in special defense. They had to hit me with both their Pokemon here. Yeah, that does nothing to Ogre Pond, which is great. And then Trick Room's going to end, and I'll be able to stop Trick Room from going up here. Yep. So we just Ivy Cudgel. And we Earth Power. Yeah, because the Eruption is not going to knock me out. Yeah, the Follow Me is not really going to help them here. This Earth Power goes first. Knocks them out. And now the Ivy Cudgel will lower their... Um, eruption damage if they chose Eruption. But Heat Wave would have been a better choice for them. Wow, so much damage. Oh, it was a crit. Finally got an Ivy Cudgel crit. Yeah, the Ivy Cudgel, or this Eruption's gonna do nothing. And whew, we've survived this Trick Room team. But they played very well. I think the switching out of the Hatterene was the mistake there. I would have kept Hatterene in and Expanding Force, and they... Would have lost Hatterene, likely, but they would have gotten so much more damage on me. All right, so I have Cudgel there. My Earth Power there. And they canceled the battle. Good game, though. That was very, very stressful Trick Room team. And we're back. What a fun set of battles. I hope you can see why I really love this Icy Wind Speed Booster Flutter. It really can put in a lot of work and really help your team shine, especially get those crucial knockouts at the end of battles. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, I would appreciate a like or a subscribe or even a comment. Thanks so much, everybody. Happy battling.